Hello friends, today we will discuss about one more chromatographic technique that is adsorption chromatographic technique. Certain solid material collectively known as adsorbent have a ability to hold molecule at their surface. Adsorption process is mainly due to weak, non-ionic, attractive, van der Waal and hydrogen bonding occurring at specific adsorption site. The strength of binding of particular analyte depends upon functional group present in its structure. For example, hydroxyl groups and aromatic groups tend to increase interaction with adsorption surface whereas aliphatic groups tend to differ in their interaction with adsorption surface. Adsorption chromatography is influenced more by the presence of specific groups than simple molecular size because only specific group rather than whole molecule can interact with adsorption site. Most widely used adsorbent in adsorption chromatography is shown in Table 1. Alumina is used for separation of small organic molecules or proteins. Silica gel is used for separation of sterols and amino acid. Activated carbon can be used for separation of peptides, amino acids and carbohydrate. Calcium phosphate gels can be used for separation of proteins and polynucleotide. Hydroxyapatite can be used for separation and purification of nucleic acids. Applications of chromatography It has been extensively used for biochemical separation such as mono and disaccharide, nucleic acids, neutral lipids, cholesterol esters, carotenoids, phospholipids, etc. It is widely used to separate non-ionic water insoluble compounds such as triglycerides, PTH, amino acids, vitamins and many drugs. Types of adsorption chromatography. There are widely two types of adsorption chromatography. Hydroxyl appetite chromatography and hydrophobic interaction. We will discuss one by one. Hydroxyl appetite chromatography. Crystalline hydroxyl appetite consisting of calcium phosphate and hydroxyl group is used as an adsorbent to separate mixture of proteins and nucleic acids because column of hydroxyapatite bind substance that interact with calcium such as DNA, RNA, chromatin, phospho, phosphoproteins by dipole-dipole interaction. Small polynucleotides and oligonucleotides bind weakly and can be easily separated from sample of high molecular weight nucleic acid. Hydroxyapatite is available commercially in a range of forms suitable for low performance liquid chromatography and high performance liquid chromatography. This includes crystalline or spherical hydroxyapatite and forms bonded to an agarose matrix. Adsorption capacity is maximum around neutral pH and conditions usually include 20 millimolar phosphate buffer for adsorption process. Elution is achieved by increasing phosphate buffer concentration to 500 millimolar. The most important application of hydroxyl appetite chromatography is separation of single stranded DNA from double stranded DNA. The affinity of hydroxyl appetite for double stranded DNA is high and later can be selectively removed from RNA and protein in cell extract. Now we will discuss about hydrophobic chromatography. This type of chromatography was developed to purify protein by exploiting their cell surface hydrophobicity which is related to presence of non-polar non amino acid residue present in proteins. The group of hydrophobic residue are scattered 
over the surface of protein in a way that gives them characteristic properties to each proteins in aqueous solution this hydrophobic region on proteins are covered with an ordered film of water molecule that effectively mask hydrophobic groups these groups can however be exposed by addition of salt ions which preferentially take up ordered and this is the basis of salting out using ammonium sulfate in hic the presence of in hydrophobic chromatography the presence of hydrophobic groups attached to suitable matrices facilitates protein matrices interaction the most commonly used stationary phase are alkyl that is exyl and octyl or phenyl groups attached to agarose matrices illusion can be achieved in hydrophobic chromatography by decreasing ion exchange or increasing ph that is increasing increasing the hydrophobicity of the protein or by selective displacement by displacer that has stronger affinity for stationary phase than has protein other practical problem with the technique is its non predictability in that it works well for some protein but not for other hence optimization is important when we perform hydrophobic interaction proteins are purified by this technique includes adolase transferring cytochrome c and thyroglobulin or any protein can be purified using this technique only optimization is required thank you